Hi, I'm Anthony with Broken Arrow, and I'm going to be explaining some of the differences between standard screen printing and oversized screen printing. The emulsion and the screen reclaiming is different for the oversized screens, and that has to do with the water-based inks that we use. Um, so we have a whole other set of chemicals for that. All emulsion has water in it. This has a less, or, uh, less water concentrate in it, so it stands up better against water based heat. And so there's also an additive I put on it, this one too, that basically makes this a permanent emulsion. It should not break down through water based inks. Our other emulsion is not made for water based, so like the uh, yesterday, you know, 20 degrees, you're breaking down. The pallets on the press, they are much larger. We have a standard pallet that is uh, 16 to 18 inches wide. The pallets we use are 44 inches wide for our all-over printing. For the press, we, uh, we have to make an adjustment to the print head. It needs pushed back um, for each head that we print the oversized screen in. The squeegee and flood bars are 44 inches compared to a standard 16 inch. The screens themselves are very large. They're 52 by 47 inch. Our standard print size is 23 by 32. The shirts are sprayed on the inside with our intact machine. Uh, this is different from standard screen printing where the pallet itself would be sprayed with a, a spray tack. And the shirts take much longer to load because they have to be laid entirely on the pallet opposed to standard screen printing where half of the shirt goes through and you're only dealing with one layer of the shirt. Um, sometimes it takes two people to load a very large shirt. The shirt has to be completely flat on the pallet. Otherwise, um, if there's wrinkles, that's going to show up in the print. The inks we use are water-based inks. And we have to be very careful with them because they will dry up in the screen if we do not continue printing constantly. So we have to, once we get a job up, we have to keep on that job. Um, the guys can't take breaks or go to lunch, stuff like that. If we have one that's left up overnight, we have to remove the inks out and put fresh ink in in the morning. Yeah, I mean, there's, uh, there's actually two different additives that goes into our inks, uh, more than what our normal plastic salt inks would call for. So, uh, there's actually, so it's just two extra steps that we have to do to actually mix the ink up. Um, and also, uh, they're, time, they're time sensitive, so once I mix the inks, I have pretty much about an hour and a half to two hours to use them before they start to, to gunk up. Due to the weight of the pallets on the press, the press has to be slowed down, otherwise it will uh, throw the gear mechanism off and it will ruin the machine. So we don't get to run 600 shirts an hour like we would with standard printing. The dryer is slowed down due to the water-based inks. Uh, they have to draw all the moisture out of the shirt for the water base to, to really have its effect. So we don't, we don't get the standard 20 shirts in the dryer at a time like we usually would. This is some of the major changes um, that make oversized printing and all-over printing much different from standard screen printing.